people, my name is Rage, and welcome and all to One Finger Death Punch. Let us find out if it is indeed worth the price. Now, this game is just so... Oh, can you describe a game as that? Is that wrong to say it's like, it's four hours out of five? That just makes it sound like I'm saying it's four hours out of five. We'll cut that out. We will cut that out. This game, ladies and gentlemen, look at this screen. Do you not just desperately want to see the gameplay? Well, I desperately want to play, so let's bloody do this. It's just fantastic. So you've got survival or levels. Survival is just an endless mode to see how long you can, well, survive. Shocking, I know. Levels is an actual, like, story. I say story. It's stage-based. And you can choose your difficulty. You unlock the next difficulty by completing it on the difficulty before. Standard stuff. So why is this game so good? Well, here we are on the map of the world as you progress through various levels. I've done a fair amount of levels just to get into this game and it has completely hooked me and I cannot wait to show you why. So this game is effectively a brawler with only two controls, left and right click. So here we go ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to show you how this functions because it is glorious. Look at this, it's so unbelievably incredible that I just, ah, oh, look at this, it's just so much bloody fun. If you are going to take anything away from this video, know that this game is so incredibly awesomely fun to play. I mean, look at this. Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus, guys. Look, the ribcage break, the bow. Oh my God. It's just the dragon punch. Oh, normally I would be telling you like informative, useful information about the game, but with this game, fuck it. Look at this. It's bloody brilliant. I absolutely love stick figure fighting. When I was younger, I used to watch stick figure animations on, I think it was a website called Stick Page, which sounds a little bit innuendo-ish, but I'm almost positive it was that. When, like, the animations like the Xio Xio series, if you know what that is, beautifully well-animated stick figure fights, and I loved them. And this game is just that incarnate when you actually get to control it. And the control system is so beautifully simple yet effective, it works magnificently. It's great. And don't let yourselves think, ladies and gentlemen, that it's just, oh, it's just a spectacle. I just get to press left and right and watch things fight. I mean, even if it was just that, I would be happy because it's so bloody fun and just oh, satisfying. That's the one. This game is just satisfying beyond everything. Look at me picking up this weapon, slaughtering people, the animations blending beautifully. Doesn't matter what you're doing, interacting with the background, everything just working perfectly. The combat changing depending on what you're actually using, how it all works, it just flows, it feels good. Now I'm throwing daggers, now I'm doing a crane kick. It's just glorious, it really is. But the thing I was trying to say before I got distracted with the just, oh, it's so good, is that this game actually has quite a high skill. Still ceiling. Think Guitar Hero. The diff harder difficulties, the harder levels where there's a lot more going on. You get different types of enemies, such as these guys who require their own little mini brawl, which is still right and left click, but as you can see, they require a lot more attention to kill. You get guys that take two hits to kill. You get guys with weapons. You get guys that try and dodge you. You get guys that really try and mess with you, that roll to the other side, so you have to change direction to finish them. And it just, it really really ramps up and makes you feel like a badass if you pull it off. This game inspires you to get perfect on every level. Every time you miss, which is pressing left or right click and it doesn't actually make a punch connect with the enemy, you get a like fail on your record. If you get over three of them, then you don't get a gold medal. And that is no in a game like this. You want to go on each level and you want to perfect them. This game is so replayable because of that. You can do every level again and it's still just as satisfying because it's still the awesome combat that it was before. You just get to do it again and be even more perfect because it feels awesome to flawless a level, to not get hit once, to not miss, to just perfectly smoothly KO, kick your way through everything. And it's just glorious. I cannot praise this game enough. <laughs> I see what you did there. Because the I... Oh, I wonder if he saw that coming. <laughs> I can 
can even make puns in this. Because, like, I make puns in everything because, like, you know, I'm master. But, yeah, you see that weapon, that mace? If I go over to it by punching towards it, I can now pick it up, which gives me slightly extended range. And look, it just impaled him on the sword. Just glorious. The game dynamically changes depending on what's going on, giving you extra range if you're doing particularly well comboing. Cut that guy in half. And then you get stuff like this free hits, which just lets me spam into someone because I was doing particularly well. It just... Oh... Right and left click, letting you do so many of these things, and it feels amazing. It's just, the controls, it's just great. You feel like an ultimate badass. I have never played a game that makes me feel more of a badass than this does. And isn't that incredible? It's such a simple idea, executed so beautifully well, that I just don't have anything but praise from it. Technically speaking, it might be nice if the characters weren't stick figures, but actual guys. But honestly, I don't think that's true. I think it's just, it works so well. Stick figures add a kind of charm that makes this game work incredibly well. Because everyone likes stick figures kicking the hell out of each other. It lets you do some really cool stylistic things that you can't really get with normal guys. And it adds a really nice aesthetic, which I think is brilliant, and I love it. I would like this game left. Left? I would like this game left! I was thinking about what I was going to press then, and, you know, allowed it into my brain. Damn it, I hate allowing things into my brain. But yes, I would like this game less if it wasn't stick figures, because I love stick figure combat so much. That, by the way, is the odd lightsaber level that you get. Yes, I'm not even joking. And what more can I say, guys? It's bloody fun and satisfying. You feel like a god among kung fu people. Oh, and there is various different stages, ranging from ones taking a couple minutes to a single boss fight taking maybe 15 seconds if you flawless it. In this game, I've got to knock people into crates to cause as much environmental destruction as possible. It really does vary up, which makes me marvel so much at the control scheme that they've actually allowed you to do so much with stuff like that. And you see that extra massive range that I got when you do particularly well? You can surge across the screen and get to the next guy really quick. And it's just, oh, 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 look, it's just beautiful. Beautiful, the sight of a stick figure exploding in gory blood everywhere because you have destroyed their face off. It just, it warms my heart, it really does. I have nothing else really to say constructively about this game, but I just want to play it more. Oh, so this is what you call one of the major levels. They're either boss or, you know, an extra difficult challenge. In this case, it is a boss, and we are about to get him. Here he is, boom! Well, that was easy. No, turns out that's just literally two hits, but you have to keep doing stuff. But I'm, you know, I'm actually... Oh, no, he missed me. Damn, he did a lot of damage. So you have less health on this. It's more of a personal one-on-one -on -one fight where you have to really think about your timings. And that's what I love about this game. Despite it being so incredibly fun, there actually is a skill ceiling. I was watching a tournament of this game at Eurogamer last year, and I kind of dismissed it because I was like, ah, it's just stick figure fighting. And I regret that so much. I can appreciate the players now, how skilled they actually were to fight hundreds of hundreds of enemies, like triple the speed that I'm doing, and just... Ah, oh, they were amazing. I can really appreciate it now. Now that I've played it myself, it's... Oh, I can see why there was a tournament on it. It's so much fun. I feel like a broken record in this video, and I, I technically am, but that's because there's nothing really to say about this game. It's just so, I kind of want to say perfect. Stylistically, the feel of it, the aesthetic, just the actual, the animation quality is amazing, because I really do appreciate stick figure animation. There's nothing I can really say this game needs or wants. I mean, there's even a perk system. When you lock certain levels, you get stuff like, for example, when I get a bow off an enemy, instead of getting one arrow shot, I now get three. Little stuff like that. You can choose three of about 20 perks. So you can even customize your fighting style to some extent if you want to focus more on weapons or your actual punches. So, I mean, right now, I've not actually missed a beat yet, which is quite good. Get a little bit of breathing room here to think about what I'm going to do next. So now I've got this bow, I can do stuff like this. All right, come on, I want to perfect this level. Oh, <laughs> I love it so much. Absolutely love it. I mean, I've done a fair amount of stick figure animating in my time as well. I've animated quite a few fights. In fact, my first ever YouTube video, not known to many people, was a stick figure fight on another account. I was so proud of it. I did it when I was like maybe 13. Oh, God. And this just brings back so much good nostalgia feelings from when I used to stick figure animate and watch them all the time because I got really into it. Not a single miss there. I just perfected that level, guys. Boom. 
And yeah, I am done. There is not much more I can say. It is brilliant. It is more than worth the price. It's like a $5 free quid, ch free quid chain. It's a free quid chain that you wrap around your neck. <laughs> No, it's a free quid game that's this much fun. I want to make more videos on this, guys. I would love it. If you guys would like more videos on this, let me know in the comments. Let me know if by liking the video, however you want to do it, I don't mind. I am going to just... Oh, I'd be so happy if everyone wanted more videos on this because it's just so much fun. Oh, left, right, 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 left, left, right. That's basically a brain while playing this game, and I think that's great. Oh, what I would like is just to change like a word between each punch. So for example, each time you click, just maybe like apple, for example. Apple! Apple, 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 apple! Yeah, I appled him! Apple, apple, apple! It works with every word, no matter what word you say, this game makes it badass just by being this game. For example, puppy, 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 puppy! Maybe that's just me. Maybe, maybe other people don't feel the same. Like, for example, Tangerine! Tangerine! Maybe not Tangerine. Okay, maybe not Tangerine. Maybe... Plate Helmet! Plate Helmet! Plate... <laughs> Seriously, try it when you play this game. Choose any random word or phrase and just say it each time you punch someone. And it makes it epic. It really does. God, I flawless that level like a freaking boss. Oh, zero misses and perfect. Guys, I'll do one more level just because I, if, I'm if i sure you want to see more of this because... I don't blame you. It's brilliant. In fact, we'll get to that purple level, and then I'll stop for now. That's what I love about this game. Each round lasts such a short amount of time. You can just open this game whenever you want and just give it a blast and just kick some ass. Ooh, free health, guys. They are getting quite complicated. As you can see, the game does ramp up in difficulties, and imagine this on the harder difficulties. This guy has a ball that I can keep kicking over and over at people. Look, look at this. That was fantastic. There we go. Get my ranged weapon. Start clubbing people to death, doing extra damage, increasing my range. Left, left, left. Right, right! There we go. Boom! Boom! Oh, Pokemon, 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 Pokemon! Well, though, Pokemon's already epic. I don't need to make it more. <laughs> boom, 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 bitch! Get out the way! There is no better fighter in town than me! I am legend! Oh, wait, that's a film. Hmm. I am God man! God man doesn't have a good ring to it. I'm something, okay, ladies and gentlemen. I am something. Bloody tiger punch. There literally is martial art forms in this, like crane kicks, tiger punches, mantis strikes. Just all of it, brilliant. Alright, let's do this purple level. Defender round! Ha! Oh, I love the voice so much. Normally the voice like that would annoy me, but it just works great. So at least you've got to use a sword to block loads of projectiles in the air. You see what I mean about the actual variety of levels, despite the control system you would imagine being quite restrictive? Look at that! Not a single one hit me because I am Kung Fu King of Ha! Oh, oh, glorious. Absolutely freaking glory. What is that? Oh, but then I also want to do that. See what I mean? You just want to keep playing because everything just gets so cool. A multi-round. Eagle Claw. Wow, that was incredible. Just, I love that there's actual martial art forms from like ancient Japan in this game. It's brilliant. And the thing is, the animations probably are accurate in terms of how they're actually fighting. Obviously embellished for a game, but oh, oh, what animal was that? Because that was badass. And now we get even faster. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. All right, this is Jesus. Okay, this is getting a little bit intense. I can do this. Come on, come on, bitch, fight me. Fight me like your life depends on it, which it technically does. I will fuck your shit up. Take that, you bitch. God, it's good. It's intense and it pumps you up and you feel like a badass. And uh -huh. I don't care how much of a parrot broken record I sound in this video because I cannot stress it enough. You may think I can stress it enough and already have, but shut up, Billy. I'm gonna kill you next with my Kung Fu skills because this game, this go. <laughs> Look at it. Amazing! Bloody brilliant! Go, go, go! Smash! Hey, you! Uh, did I just... No, because I waited for like a... Oh, no, I waited. That's my first death. Oh, you only have four hearts in this hand. That's actually more... That's difficult than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Alright, let's focus. Let's focus. I can do this. 
I can perfect this level, even though I've already technically not perfected it. So this level gets progressively faster and faster as you go on, and it also has guys that require triple hits, which is kind of irritating, considering that there's so many more people you need to get rid of them quite quickly. And the king guys, which are also free hit guys, which doesn't really make sense. But I've not lost a heart yet, so that's awesome. Boom, boom, boom. And then the environment as well it actually interacts with the fight that's going on. You, like, destroy pillars in buildings, and they, like, crash down, and everything's really visceral, and it's just, it, feel, it doesn't feel like it's just a picture in the background. You actually interact with it and fuck shit up. Okay, let's do this. Boom, boom. Right, left, right, right, right. Right, 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 left. Left, right, 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 right. Right. Boom, bitch. Oh, the power this game fills you with. Boom. 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 I have not been this excited and this, like, into and just instant fun in a game from opening it in a long, long time. Just brilliant. And then this is the skills page where you can actually choose what perks that you want, various different things. But honestly, I don't even need to go into that. You're probably convinced. And if you're not convinced, well, then I just apologize. You have no sense of soul or fun or any. I'm joking. But seriously, though. Well, guys, my name has been Rage. This is One Finger Death Punch and heartily, heartily recommended. It's glorious. I'd love to do more videos on this. Let me know if you would like that. I'd love, to, I'd love to stream this. How could this be in a stream? Setting myself challenges with a ch Oh, God. The, oh, I love this game. So happy about this game. So good. My name has been Ray. Should be like if you enjoyed this. I will see you all next time. Oh, goodbye.